What is Munro Partners shorting philosophy? Yeah, so in our absolute return funds, we have the ability to short sell. Um, short selling is a tool that we use really for single stock alpha shorts. Uh, and it's important to stress, we don't match our longs and shorts, um, you know, what would be otherwise called a market neutral strategy. From our point of view, shorting is, is, a, is a useful tool, but it's important to remember you can only make 100% out of a short, uh, you can't make any more, yet you can make thousands of percent out of a long. And so your return structure is completely different. So from our point of view, we're looking for single stock alpha shorts, companies that we feel are probably being disrupted by some of our longs, um, think either advertising agencies or oil and gas companies uh, or car companies have all been successful shorts for the fund in the past. Um, we think short exposure in the fund runs somewhere between zero and 20% at most times. Um, and in many cases, that's essentially what we're looking for. We're looking for that extra little bit of alpha that we can get from short selling stocks and also that lower volatility that it provides the fund through the cycle. How do you identify a single stock short? So generally over the years, we found that the, with shorts, we're, we're effectively, we're doing the reverse of our long investment strategy. So we're looking for companies that have earnings downgrades ahead, uh, potentially a multiple downgrade ahead. Uh, because they are strategically in a bad position and a catalyst. Uh, and so from that point of view, we're looking to prove the mass that that can occur. Um, in many cases, we find that, that we're looking for specific catalysts to, for that to happen. And in many cases, we find we're looking at a return structure of roughly 10 to 20%, which is usually fulfilled within a three to six month period. A good example would be a company like Publicis. Publicis is one of the four big advertising agencies in the world uh, that is a conglomerate of advertising agencies. Uh, many people would have heard of it. Uh, our general view is that advertising is being disrupted by digital advertising and digital advertising is becoming more and more programmatic, which is ultimately reducing the market share that these companies can, can adapt to. And so what we think over time is that, that, that they will lose share of the advertising market and ultimately that equals earnings downgrades. And that's basically what happened over the last five years. On top of that, people will begin to appreciate how unsustainable their businesses, potentially in the meter term, which will lower the multiple. And so we saw that happen very much through 2018, 2019 and the first part of 2020. And so Publicis has been a successful short for the fund for some time. But at some point it does reach its price target. At some point the risk reward for shorting the stock is over and we close that short and the company has since bounced and we may look to put it on again at some point in the future. What are the climate secular short opportunities? Yeah, so the obvious climate shorting opportunities were the big integrated oil companies. These are large oil companies around the world with large investments in the fossil fuel industry. Um, we felt for some time that, that the shift towards a, a carbon neutral economy would accelerate um, and that these companies would need to pivot. Um, and ultimately what that meant is that as they pivoted, they would have to move into lower returning activities or, or activities that will return over a much longer time frame. Um, and ultimately that leads to things like cutting your dividend, uh, increasing your capex, et cetera. So from that point of view, the integrated oil companies, again, were a good area of shorting for us uh, through the back half of 2019 and worked very well in the first half of 2020. The other thing that also obviously happens to the oil companies is, is the pressure on OPEC um, to ultimately maximise the returns from what oil they have left. Ultimately means it's very hard for OPEC to stay strong through this period. And so those were two things we were looking for in the back half of 19. Both of them happened in very quick succession, mainly because of COVID. Um, and in both cases, we closed those integrated oil shorts back in June 2020. Um, they again have since bounced and we may look to put them on again in the future, but the risk reward was no longer there. So we banked those profits and moved on and we may come back again in the future.